Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, because as you can see, Bitcoin is currently flashing a signal that previously led to a 20% pump in the Bitcoin price in a matter of 10 days. So in this video today, I'm going to analyze everything that you should be taking a look at for the Bitcoin price to actually determine if we are going to get that big blast off to the upside or if this is going to invalidate and get another dump to the downside. So let's dive right into this analysis. First of all, one thing I wanted to mention about this MACD indicator is that yes, right now it is indicating that potentially some bullish momentum could be returning in the market here. So that is a good thing to see. Although of course, if you start to see this cross back below, like for example, what we saw right here, where we started to get into this bullish territory, but then invalidated it and got another leg to the downside. So do keep an eye on this indicator guys. And in the case that you did not watch my free trading course, the link is in the video description, by the way, but typically people use the MACD indicator on the daily time frame and above. Otherwise it is not very accurate. So keep that in mind. But moving on with the Bitcoin analysis here, first taking a look at the big support and resistance levels for Bitcoin, again, on this daily time frame. Right here, we have this big level of resistance to the upside, sitting at 60K, all the way up to 62.4K. So if you see the Bitcoin price trading in this zone here, then make sure to pay attention to the price because you can get a rejection back to the downside. Now we actually saw something quite similar here to what I just said on the lower time frame, on this four hour time frame. So I did warn about this, of course, in yesterday's video as well. We got another pump into this red zone, into this level of resistance, and then got another move back down. In zones of resistance, you pay attention to the price action for a potential rejection. However, in levels of support, like this big level right here from 58,000 all the way down to 56,000, these are areas where you would be looking for a potential bounce, similar to what we saw right here. We dipped into this level of support and then got a big bounce out of there as well. So this is mainly what you should be paying attention to on this one day time frame for now, because Bitcoin has just been in this sideways consolidation. And yes, so long as we do not break out above 62.4K, roughly speaking, and we also do not break below 56,000, then in that case, we are just ranging sideways and this can go on for quite some time. So keep that in mind and don't get too frustrated if this takes a little while longer to actually break out to the upside or to the downside. So now zooming into the short term here on this four hour time frame for Bitcoin, we are taking a look at the Fibonacci levels. And as you can see right here, I mentioned this in yesterday's video where I said, if we break out above this descending line of resistance, likely we would at the very least be heading up to this 0.5 level, which we did. In fact, we even pumped a lot higher than that on this lower time frame. So that is a good thing to see. However, what we are seeing right now is that, yes, we actually broke back below this 0.5 level, which is currently acting as a level of resistance sitting at 59.7K. So make sure to pay attention to what happens to around the price action here, because again, for any level of resistance, you can get a rejection back down. On the daily time frame, we have actually not closed a daily candle above this 0.5 level yet. So that is something you could be looking out for in the next couple hours here. Are we going to get the daily close above this 0.5 level? or close below it again, because potentially this could give you some indication over the next day or two. So in general, this 0.5 level has been very interesting over the last couple of days because we have been chopping right on top of it for, I think over 10 days at this point, yeah, August 8th. So basically two weeks here. However, at some point we are going to break out. Like for example, if we break out above this Fibonacci golden pocket, which is typically a strong level of resistance, as you can see right here, we got a rejection, another rejection, another rejection. And this one, we didn't even get close to it yet. So this is a strong level of resistance, just like I was saying this entire time, even before we touched it the first time. However, if we break out above this, then likely we would be heading up to much higher price action. Like for example, this 0.786 Fibonacci level sitting at 65 0.5k. So that is something to look out for. 
And this Fibonacci golden pocket is sitting between 62,000 and 62.7K, roughly speaking. So again, it is quite similar to this big level of resistance right here, except the Fibonacci golden pocket actually reaches up a little bit higher. So that is why I would recommend looking at this most importantly as the level of resistance to break. Otherwise, you might open a trade expecting something like this, but then it actually gets rejected from the Fibonacci golden pocket. So that is just something to watch out for. For. And of course, I'm not telling you to go long or short. None of this is financial advice, but I'm simply telling you what I am seeing in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Either way, for the bearish case, let's say that we actually get this rejection back down here, then we might get some short term support right here at this level. So about 58.3K, roughly speaking. However, breaking below that, we would very likely be heading towards this 0.382 Fibonacci level, sitting at 57,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. And besides that, if we actually break below this level, then in the short term, you could be looking towards this 0.236 Fibonacci level, sitting at 53.9K. Okay, so that is the bullish and the bearish case for Bitcoin right now. One other thing I wanted to show you guys is this tweet that I sent out a couple of days ago. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already, by the way. Regardless, I sent out this table here, and these are the Bitcoin returns by month. So if you really want to take a look at this, you can just pause it and zoom in or something and just take a look at this or just go to my Twitter, I guess. Either way... You can see right here that August and September are typically the worst months for Bitcoin in terms of performance. If we just take a look at the monthly time frame for Bitcoin, right now we are in a red month for August. So for now, it is looking likely that we are going to close this month in the red. Although, of course, it, we do have 11 days and we're talking about Bitcoin here. So things can change very, very quickly. Although it is interesting to see this data here and just see that there is some seasonality to Bitcoin where August and September are typically the worst performing months. And I will leave it up to you if this time will be different. But I just thought that I would share this data with you so you can also take a look at it. Next up, taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map. First of all, on this 24 hour time frame, right here, you can see that we took out quite a bit of liquidity to the downside at 60,000 US dollars earlier today. And now most of the liquidity is to the upside at 61.4K. Now, in the case that you don't know, typically Bitcoin gets attracted to where there is the most liquidity on this chart. And in this case, on the 24 hour time frame, most of the liquidity is at this level right here, again, at 61.4K. So it would not be crazy to see Bitcoin grabbing this liquidity at some point soon. Now, before I move on here, actually, because I get a lot of questions about this Bitcoin liquidation heat map, if you want to learn how this works, I strongly recommend just signing up to my free trading course. The link is also in the video description, or you just simply go to rt1m.com. And right here, you can just sign up to the free trading course. And I have like an hour of educational content where I talk about everything that I am showing you in these videos and also some things that I take a look at when I'm trading that I don't even share in these videos here. So if that is something you're interested in, do go check this out. There's no like upsell or something like that at the end of it. Either way, you don't have to do this, but I get a lot of questions about the liquidation heat map and I explain it in the course. So I just thought I would shout it out here in case you guys are wondering. Now, moving on to the Bitcoin liquidation heat map here on the one week time frame, because again, we have quite a bit of liquidity to the upside, sitting as high as 61.8K, roughly speaking, let's say 62,000 US dollars. However, there is also still quite a bit of liquidity to the downside here, guys. So make sure to pay attention to this, especially if you start to see it in your technical analysis, like you start to see some rejections on the lower time frames. You start to see us closing below that 0.5 level, for example. Don't only rely on this, of course, but there are just different things indicating and pointing downward. Then potentially we could be grabbing liquidity as low as 55.8K. So that is just something to keep in mind. Of course, as I said, pay attention to the support levels, et cetera, as well. But in the case that we start losing support, then these could be some potential price targets for your trades. So again, 57.5K could be a potential take profit level for that. But again, there's also liquidity at 55.8K. So keep that in mind. Either way, this has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.